How did life come about? A small outburst of anger can create a war. A fleeting spark is love. Everything in this world is born from a small splash. Where would you be now if it weren't for the Big Bang that formed our universe? The starting point was the Big Bang. But the explosion of what? Singularities? An atom? What if I told you that the life timer began from a white hole? What is a white hole? One day, a 16-year-old boy who was madly in love with physics looked at the starry sky and wondered, what would it be like to travel with a light beam? His name was Albert Einstein. Later, in the year 1916, Einstein announced his general theory of relativity. It described a new force, gravity, which distorts space and time. The scientific crowd considered Einstein a madman, because at that time he was the main freak in the world of physics. And only in April 2019, after the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration published the first image of a black hole, did Einstein's theory of gravity gain factual confirmation. There was another boy, half as old as Einstein, and twice as curious. Eight-year-old Carlo also looked at the starry sky and thought, if there is black, there must be white. Not such a sensational statement, but he was just a child. A child who would soon turn our universe upside down. White holes were talked about for the first time in 1964, and the one shouting about them was Carlo Rovelli. White holes are like black ones, only with a negative filter, and are shown in reverse. Black ones devour, white ones spew. An immediate flashback from childhood. Remember how you were afraid while taking a bath that pulling out the plug, you'd be sucked into the hole of the drain. Or that one day, walking around the city, you'd be standing on a manhole, and the outburst of a sewer eruption would throw you back several feet. Now all these phobias will take on a cosmic scale for you. A black hole is formed from a dead star. And for a white one to form, a literal rewind of time is necessary. The object must start at the singularity and move in the opposite direction until it gathers back into the universe. It's like if you found an old videotape of your parents' childhood and looked at it through the light, rolling it backwards. The birthday girl takes a deep breath and the candles on the birthday cake light up with bright lights. But while you can admire these nostalgic shots for hours, white holes exist for a fraction of a second, if they exist at all. Perhaps the white holes are just fictions from a series of fantasy stories of a little boy who continues to live in his childhood fantasies about space titans. Carlo Rovelli, as a student, wasn't aware of the religious and biblical stories about light and dark forces. But he continued to believe that if there were two radically polar superpowers in this world, it was a black hole and a white hole, where the existence of the latter was still not proven. Do white holes exist? But in 2006, everything changed. Scientists noticed something unusual that they'd never encountered before. The Hubble Space Telescope and the Swift Observatory have repeatedly observed short flashes that create neutron stars, merging with each other or with black holes. This merger creates a new black hole. This flash lasts about five seconds. While you were taking a breath to sneeze, somewhere in space, a portal to the gates of hell was already born. Long flashes are also nothing sensational. They occur as a result of the collapse of massive stars, and they also end up creating a black hole. Perhaps from such an influx of information, you've already decided to light up. If you don't put out the match, you can calculate. By the time it burns out, another hole may have appeared in the Milky Way. But this time, 
scientists recorded something new in the Indus constellation. It was a long 102 second gamma ray burst. But first, something flashed with a pulse lasting five seconds of a short flash. This hybrid of short and long flashes is called GRB 060614. From such a massive explosion, the birth of a supernova was expected, but in its place was nothing. It was no longer important. It was only important what was recorded. Now, in the history of photography, you can see two colossal images. The view from the window at Le Gras, the first and oldest photo that has survived to this day since 1827, and a photo of a white hole from 2006. 50 years. Carlo Rovelli was 50 when his life's work took on new colors. Unlike Einstein, he found confirmation of his words while still living. The losers of the white hole theory have now been able to boldly join the ranks of the tough guys playing in the black hole league. They're not crazy anymore either. It took only 186 years for humanity to go from a blurred impression of a street to a fixation of the phenomena of distant space. Perhaps the scientific and technological revolution will come to a point where we can get even closer to a white hole and take a better look at it. But what's scary is to think that we could see it clearly without any telescopes if it formed right near the Earth. What would happen if the Earth collided with a white hole? Imagine this, you look up at the night sky and see a shooting star. You make a wish to have an unlimited number of bitcoins to visit Las Vegas. You've already listed everything you could think of, but the star hasn't fallen. You realize that you don't see its tail, but only a bright light that's getting bigger and bigger. Well, white hole. Welcome to Earth. Don't get nervous because the intruder has caught your home off guard. You won't have time to clean up, don't worry. You will die instantly. It won't be possible to observe this universal catastrophe either, because the explosion will last only a few seconds. The gamma ray burst of a white hole is equivalent to an explosion of atomic bombs in every hectare of the sky, with a distance of up to 10 light years, brighter than any firework on the Independence Day of every independent country on Earth launch simultaneously in one instant. Even the dense atmosphere of the Earth, which theoretically could save humanity from the explosion of a nearby star, wouldn't resist the power of the explosion of a white hole. What will happen to you? There are two scenarios that could unfold. If you prefer a quick death, I can make you happy. All life on the irradiated half of the planet would be exterminated instantly. If you were lucky enough to be on the other half of the Earth, you could survive. But you would live in a post-apocalypse. All equipment would fail. Chaos would ensue. People would engage in looting. And eventually, supplies and old livestock would disappear, leaving people without any means of living, which would lead them to a painful death. Such a scenario is quite realistic, because it's already happened. A gamma ray burst may have caused the Ordovician Silurian extinction event about 443 million years ago. The explosion killed about 60% of marine invertebrates. Among them could have been Anomalocaris, Ammonites, and Trilobites. Looking at these, you might think, thank God. Maybe someday our children will see our pictures and will say the same about us. But who will it be if the Earth is incinerated by a white hole? Perhaps we are already in a white hole. Which is scarier, to see a white hole from your window or to be in one? It's impossible to get in one because you already know that it pushes away with incredible force everything that comes close to it. But while we're trying to figure out how to get into a white hole, we might get sucked into a black hole. 
Let's say that the Earth was pulled into a black hole. Scientists assume that the laws of physics don't apply inside these. So why did you have to learn them in the first place? First, you would stretch out in length, then you would shrink in width. If you were annoyed by people cracking their fingers, know that the sound of your own bones in a black hole would scare you more. You'd look like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You would call for help, but like in a terrible nightmare, you wouldn't be able to make a sound since it couldn't be transmitted in airless space. But perhaps you wouldn't feel anything, because in a free fall, a person doesn't feel their weight. In this plasticine state, you'd live the rest of your life until you died in a gravitational singularity. So says many scientists, but not Carlo Rovelli. If there is a white, there is a black, and if there is an entrance, there is an exit. All this time, you were in a hole that leads to a white hole. A white hole is a door that only works as an exit. The entrance is the black hole. Rejoice, descendants, our ancestors survived. Nothing comes from nowhere and goes nowhere, the law of conservation of energy. We weren't very well received, but how would the world meet us on the other side? You're alive, but where are you? Do other worlds exist? Stephen Hawking argued that the Big Bang most likely created not one universe, but an infinite number of them. In them, there are planets similar to Earth, and even people similar to us. Or maybe that's what we are. We fly into a black hole and fly out of a white one in a matter of seconds, and so on in a circle. And in this time loop, we live it all over again. And maybe now we're living it all not for the first time. After all, a gamma ray burst can give rise to a so-called pocket universe, a distorted reflection of our universe which dies soon after creation, because time goes much faster in these universes than in ours. You've opened the refrigerator again, and you've been standing there frozen for five minutes, forgetting why you came to the kitchen in the first place. It's just that you from another universe has already taken a soda from it and settled in to watch a Netflix series about parallel worlds. Or maybe the Matrix will fail at some point. You'll look out the window at the starry sky and the moon will seem strange to you. If you look closely, you'll see the Earth. Its second copy that didn't have time to complete its round in the path between the black and white holes. And what's happening on it? You're on it. You're looking out the window, and you're seeing in the skies your own planet in horror.